Hello there, my name is Ben and a very warm welcome back to Play The Game Central and our coverage of the brand new Zombies map, Mob of the Dead. So by now you should be getting used to the Pop Goes the Weasel Easter Egg, but you've probably realised that you can't actually achieve it in full in solo, but that doesn't mean that it's a waste of time to do the steps because there are things you can attain from doing those steps. Uh, one of them being the Blundergat, whose counterpart, the uh, augmentation of which, uh, is the Acid Gat and can be very useful in higher rounds. And uh, the other thing is the Golden Spork, which is good for the kind of uh, mid to late rounds as well. Now, to obtain those things, um, I'm going to be showing you how to get the spork very quickly if you want to, uh, to, to know that. I'm not going to show you the golden one because you should be knowing that anyway. But you come to the Michigan cell block and then throw a tomahawk at the poster. It will open up the little hole in the wall and you'll see the afterlife eye. Go into purgatory mode using the junction box then come in and zap the spoon on the floor till you hear the demonic announcer. Then revive yourself and then you're ready to go and get the other spoon which you can use to... Um, augment the current spoon that you already have, if you want to say that. Actually, without the other spoon, you won't actually be able to uh, use it as a melee weapon at all. So you go to the back of the cafeteria and chuck a tomahawk at that spoon. Now you have the spoon, it is now your melee weapon, but it is shit. So I would suggest going and chuck it in the bathtub and then acid gout in the showers until you have the golden spork, um, because that is particularly useful. We do have a guide on that, but um, that's that. So now to get the blunder gap for free, you need to just maintain the steps of Pop Goes the Weasel. So go and check out these um, skulls. Um, you, I don't need purgatory mode for them because I know what every single one of them are. But um, if you do, then go into purgatory and you'll be able to see the little blue skulls and just remember them where they are. Go back into real life and then tomahawk them and you'll be able to get them. So the first one is down in the dark where I just showed you uh, the third post in where PhD Flopper and Mule Kick is. The second one is on that little lamp uh, that I just threw up from Juggernaut, but you can actually do it on the gondolas, but I don't like doing that because it's not fail-safe. I like to show you fail-safe ways, and the best way to do it is by jumping next to Juggernaut because you can miss it on the gondolas. So the third, like I just showed you, is in the warden's office um, outside of his window near Speed Cola on top of the... Um, telephone pole. Uh, the fourth was in the, st not starting area room, but just through the library. Uh, opposite to the door of the library, there's like a little kind of messed up cells and it's just there on the toilet. And the fifth one is on not quite the corner of the roof there, but it's on the side of the roof. And just throw it and you'll obtain all five. Now when you get your fifth back in the warden's office, as soon as you enter it, it'll go into a blaze of fire. There we go. And the blundergat will appear. And that is your free blundergat. Um, I would suggest looking at a video that is potentially going up today as well. I don't know if it's going to be the first, probably is, um, on the subject. But um, there is a way to obtain the Acid Gat and the Blunder Gat as one player, which isn't a bad idea if you're doing high round stuff. And you should realize why um, that's not such a bad idea. But this is a really good perk setup for those of you who uh, enjoy using the Blunder Gat. This is kind of makes it uh, fairly invincible. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, then leave a like. That would be brilliant. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.